hillbilly heroin. OCs. Narcos. Smurfs. 80s. Big boys. Dollar bill. Green goblin. Painkillers. It makes your life a hell on earth, eventually. Painkillers are derived from opium. They're used for medical purposes. They're a manufactured substance. They're like a synthetic heroin. It's basically as powerful as heroin, and it will affect your nervous system in the same way. It's a, it's a pharmaceutical. It's sold over the counter as a painkiller. It's mostly given to like cancer patients and stuff, and like people who have back surgeries. You know, mainly used for people who are terminally ill to block off your pain receptors. Normally, you get them through a doctor. You can also buy them on the streets. It comes in either liquid, like the cough medicine, tablets, or capsules. With the fentanyl, you know, those actually come in a, a box of what we call the lollipops, because they actually look kind of like lollipops with a little thing at the end of the stick, and it looks like you're just eating a lollipop. Some of the painkillers are like Oxycontin, Hydrocodine, Lorotabs, Percocets, Vicodin. There's like different milligram forms. It starts out, I think you can get like 10 milligram pills, 20s, 40s, 80s, and then there's like 160s that are hard to come by. I just took it in pill form. You could take it orally. Just get a straw and just snort it. I used to crush it up and snort it. I progressed to breaking it down into liquid form using a syringe tying my arms up and shooting myself up with it. When I first tried it, I was 16 years old. I was probably 18. I was 21. I started painkillers at about 28. It was hydrocodone, a prescription painkiller. I would first gotten it prescribed to me from a doctor. I was on prescription pain medication from my doctor and therapist for a long time, and then I just bought it off the street after that. I, I took the pain pills from a car accident. I had some medical issues that developed because of playing sports, and he prescribed me Lortab and Somas. I took it for a leg injury. I just thought that it was experimental and I thought it would be cool to try. It was in the ninth grade in class. My buddy gave me an Oxycontin. A group of friends in high school. It was the cool thing to do at the time. A friend of mine had told me about pain pills and how they made you feel. And yeah, I knew they were in the medicine cabinet. So that's when I went looking. And then I tried to stop, but it was just way too addictive and I got really sick when I stopped. So I just kept going with it. One thing led to another and before you know it, you're hooked. I had no idea they were addictive till the morning I woke up and I was freaking out because I didn't have anything. It clicked in my head that, oh my gosh, this is the physical addiction to it. I'm going through drug withdrawal. It's a pain medication. It takes away your pain. But yet when the medication's gone, you just get all that pain back, whether it be emotionally or physically. It just all comes back tenfold. You start to crave it. You start to need more. Within a week or two, I was taking them morning, afternoon, and night and needed them to function. All of a sudden, after you look at it, you're spending like 300 and some odd dollars a day just to get by. You start feeling these awful withdrawal symptoms where you get terribly sick, hot and cold sweats. I would vomit and vomit and vomit for days on end. Don't want to eat, like forcing myself to eat because I knew I had to. It feels like something's coming out of the bones of your body and trying to break out of your skin. I felt like someone was just like shoving knives into my bones. It's like the most horrible thing that you'd ever experienced, just feeling like you just got beat up. In your mind, you're completely panicked. You're freaked out. You can't hold a train of thought at all. You can't function. I wasn't even looking for the high anymore. I was just looking to get that feeling gone. It was, I felt like dying. All you're doing is, is taking it just so that you're not sick. You feel like you'll do anything to get it. Nine times out of 10, you will. I had a choice to walk out a door and leave my life and my house and my wife or stay and try and make things work and quit drugs. But I walked out that door. I just packed up my things and I left my kids with my parents. I left my family. I didn't tell them where I was going. And I went and stayed with a friend in this rundown hotel full of drug dealers and prostitutes. I was kicked out of my house three separate times. I couldn't believe that it happened to me. Like for me to be homeless, sweaty, hungry, smelly. I was filling out fake prescriptions. He actually forged the doctor's signature. Next thing you know, a few months later, I was being arrested for fraud and forgery. At 20, I was in federal prison for 20 months. And uh, federal prison is no place for anybody to be at 20 years old. 
I ran into the back of two cars. I pulled out of a parking lot, not looking, car hit me. And then I pulled into a parking lot in my apartment complex and just totally crashed into another car. I didn't even see it when I pulled into it. I wasn't worrying about like where I was gonna go the next day, where I was gonna sleep. It was just all about getting high. And that was where my focus was. So I didn't have to face reality. So I didn't have to like look around me and see needles and spoons and blood all over me from, from shooting up. My daughter seen me passed out on the floor and not being able to wake me up, thinking that I was dead. Woke up three days later, covered in my own feces and vomit to my parents rushing me to the hospital. I OD'd. I just woke up on the floor with some huge man, I didn't even know who he was, standing on top of me, hitting me on the chest, telling me to breathe. I woke up in the hospital with a tube down my throat. I was handcuffed to the bed, and I'm thinking to myself, what am I doing here? My dad had come to visit me. It's the first time I ever saw him cry, and that's when it really hit me, is not only what am I doing to myself, but what am I doing to my family? Destroyed my family. I mean, they, they love me and their family, and blood is thicker than water, but they can only take so much. They ripped my parents up. Like, they didn't, some nights I'd stay out and not call. They didn't know where I was at. I wouldn't accept their phone calls. I wouldn't go to Christmas. I wouldn't go to birthdays. I wouldn't go to family dinners. And I turned into someone who was just had no emotion that was just almost seemed like they're dead all the time. At first, it's like it's, it's okay to do. It's from a doctor. It's safe. No one told me that it was really addictive. No one told me about the side effects. No one told me anything. They just said this will take away your pain. They're little small, round, colorful pills that look so harmless when really it's just a death sentence. It sucks. It's when you're doing it, sometimes it feels good because you got a couple laughs with some close friends, but those laughs turn to tears very quickly. You lose track of your dreams and your goals, things that you wanted to accomplish and you want to do in your life. The only thing that's important is the drug, and then before you know it, you wake up 10 years later and you see all the time that you've wasted. It's definitely not worth it. It's only gonna take you down. It's never gonna take you up.